What's up everybody? Welcome back to Bass Singer's Disc Golf Channel. I've got something absolutely brand new for you here. This is a 2015 Bass Singer versus a 2020 Bass Singer. Huge thank you to our Patreon supporters who make videos like this possible. This is the original footage. Uh, this is the video that the original footage came from, which is BDGC Bag Tag Match number one. So, went back and filmed another round with me, as you can see here. That's me in 2015, so this is technically five years in the making. See what we got here. Got a little commentary action with myself, and then myself versus myself. So this is 2020 me. I know it's going to be a little hard for you to tell who's who. <laughs> got the ponytail action going on five years ago, and then this I actually filmed here recently in 2020. Throwing my Axiom Vanish here. Got a little bit of flip up, no turn. Thank goodness I didn't get a lot of turn because I went way past the basket there. Uh, here's a shot of me. I tried to do this, look at Jason, in the background there. So this footage is actually from uh, when we played our BDGC bag tag match number one there. So uh, you'll see the other guys on the channel in the background every now and then. Here's where my 2020 drive landed. Uh, a bit long past the basket. Gave it a pretty decent bid, but uh, didn't wasn't able to can that one. Let's see what 2015 Basinger can do here. That's going to be a no. So, uh, Also, uh, worth mentioning here in 2015, I was throwing someone else's bag. So uh, We did that mixed bag match, and this is someone else's disc that I'm using. Now, if I'm not mistaken, it was uh, Uncle Jerry's disc, so little tap in for three, and uh, looks like 2020 Basinger is already one stroke better than 2015. Moving on to hole number two. Uh, this one, uh, there's technically a Mando one here, so I played it. Uh, we played it back in 2015, so I played it again. Went with a flick, which is, eh, as you can see, not my best shot. Let's see what I do in 2015 here. Basically, the premise of this video is to see if I have improved any. Uh, see if I can beat my old score there. Judging by the tee shot, I'm going to say yes, because I hit quite early there and got knocked down. Try and get up and down here. I got up and down, but not in a good way. Went up quickly and came down even quicker. So uh, I'm going to be throwing this one for three here. Let's see what I can do. Another little forehand action. Looks like my forehand really hasn't changed much. I relied on my forehand a lot more back then, and I don't anymore. Hmm, gave it a little bit. Just not strong enough on that one. I actually tried, I'm sure you can tell by now, but I tried to do this in order of play as if uh, these two were on the same card. Just didn't get that one there. Shout out to Uncle Jerry there, Uncle Smooth. 2015 Uncle Smooth and then a tap in for three here in 2020 hole number three here this was the intro clip I'm sure you already saw that if you're to this point for some reason every time I film myself on this hole I cannot make it down that fairway if I'm just throwing I can make it down almost any time but as you can see Almost an identical shot. Hit the tree right beside it earlier. It, I could not believe that that shot was almost exactly the same five years later. So basically no improvement on this hole. Going with another flick. Once again, up and down the wrong way. Looks like I'm going with another flick. As you can see, I heavily relied on my flick back then, which is almost taken completely out of my game now. It's basically if I'm in trouble is when I use a flick now. Going to the little hyzer shot with my resistor. Didn't get as much skip as I was hoping. Hoping it would skip towards the basket, but that's okay. I've got a putt for a three here. Should be able to save my par. Mm. Little left side, unfortunately. That's going to be a bogey. Don't miss it, Josh. Uncle Smooth again. Documentation. 2015 Basinger is at four over, and this is going to set me 2020 Basinger at one over. 
unfortunate chain out there. Left side, so I can't really blame the basket. Hole number four here, easy lefty hole. All you got to do is basically hit the gap and let it fade. And I did not do that uh, in 2020, unfortunately. Let's see what I can do in 2015. Take the power of the ponytail. Went a little wider, more of an angle, hyzer angle. And that one looked really good. We'll see where that one's at. Obviously, I uh, already know since I played these rounds. and Oh, a little bit of tree love there. And I also did the editing myself. So let's see what I can do here. See if I can... All right, there we go. 2015 Bay Singer with my first birdie of the round. And a very shameful 2020 Bay Singer. The Walk of Shame. Tap in. That one I should get every time being a lefty. Unfortunately, not this time. So we're going on to hole five here. This one uh, plays uphill. It co goes downhill a little bit off the tee and then uphill. Back in 2015, apparently I thought I had a uh, Simon Lazalt hyzer. As you can see, I did not. Fade it out to the right side there. Thankfully, here in 2020, I said I'm not messing with that kind of shot. Tried to do a little hyzer flip, just way too low. If I were thrown that, you know couple feet higher I would have got a pretty good amount of distance out of that once again leaning on a flick here out of the side of the woods Ooh, nice little turnover on that flick wish I could get that shot back in my game for sure so as you can see here I should uh, probably be throwing the flick here but I just rely more on my turnover shots that's my axiom proxy right there just didn't get it uh, turned over enough usually that one flies dead straight and I just kind of threw that one a little bit too soft there. Can I hit the putt? Absolutely not. Let's see what I can do here in 2020. Shout out to Halo Disc Golf and Sports, the shirt I'm wearing there. That's where I actually work. If you're in the area, come see me at Halo Disc Golf and Sports. I finally was able to make a putt there. This hole five uh, used to be marked as a, a par four, but now they have it as a par three. So I left it to reflect the current situation on this. And now this is one of the holes here, hole six, that this one's actually in a different pin location. There's going to be a couple throughout this video that you see uh, that are going to be in different pin locations than the original video. So a uh, pretty terrible shot there, as you saw. Just didn't really give it... Uh, a shot down the middle like I wanted. Going to the hyzer play, you see the the uh, right side basket there. Going for a little patent pending uh, shot here, trying to turn this orbital over, and just too much angle, and it stood up and rolled. It rolled out of frame there. You can't really see it because of the shape of the hole. Once again, another flick here in 2015. Great turnover flick. Man, I love that shot. That's one of the shots that sticks out in my mind is uh, one of the better sidearms I've ever thrown, to be honest. So you can see here, this pin's a little bit shorter than the other one. Uh, had the pin been where it was right here in 2015, then uh, I definitely would have had my three there because it was about five feet from the basket. Oh, and that's a good putt. I'll take that one all day. Tap in for a four right here from 2020 Bay Singer. Unfortunately, looks like uh, two over and four over for 2015 Bay Singer. So, uh, hole, this hole here, number seven, just another lefty hyzer. Went a little bit wide there in 2015, but it actually worked out good. I should have a putt from up there. Try to go a little more inside here. And just didn't really go wide enough. Wasn't very happy with that shot. So I've got a long jump putt here. Not going to lie, I was actually trying to go to the right of that tree there. And it was just a horrible attempt there. It's a 2015 Bay Singer coming in clutch with a huge birdie putt. Running that one down. Uh, my good buddy Seth Overbay actually... 
has uh, made fun of me a time or two for all those old clips where we would run in. But basically, the reason we run it in is uh, not because we're happy from the putt. It was to go grab the camera from one of the other guys. So, see what I can do here on hole eight. There, it's lefty hyzer once again. Should be able to get twos on both of these. A little short there from 2015. See if I can make the adjustment here in 2020. Ooh, gave it a run. So yeah, you can see I landed quite a bit short, but I still got a putt here. About the same distance as the last putt I made. And just left that one a little bit short. Should have this little easy tap in for 2020 Bay Singer. If you like this series, let me know. I plan on going back and doing uh, some of our other old videos and challenge myself versus uh, the five years ago round of myself. So this was pretty fun to do. Hole nine here, very tight and wooded. Uh, you're not going to see the basket on this one. This is also in an alternate location. Uh, 2020 here, it's a little bit longer and more left. You can see I was trying to get the turnover on that one. And it's you can see the basket here in 2015. Just pretty much a dead straight shot. And I don't know why, but I tried to knock some limbs down there, apparently. Looks like I'm putting with a rhino, which is, uh... Ooh! Oh, Gave it a good bid there. Wish I would have canned that one. Rhino is not necessarily the best putter for me, but it does fit my hyzer putt, for sure. Looks like I almost went down there in the ditch. So this pin, as you can see, is a little bit longer than the other one. I was able to tap that one in, save my three, and I do the same here in 2015. Let me know if you think I should grow the ponytail and go to you back. I definitely do not. And uh, I don't think my girlfriend wants me to either. Shout out to Amanda, by the way, for filming this round for me here in 2020. That was just a horrible attempt at this hole right here. I threw a, a buzz and just didn't quite get it where I wanted. Ooh, wide on that one as well, but got some outstanding tree love back in 2020. Didn't get that same tree love or back in 2015. Apologize for that. So, as you can see, I'm in trouble, so I'm going with the flick and I was just a few inches away from that being good. That would have flipped and, uh, Probably got up there near the pin. Probably would have faded out a little bit to the left, but I would have had a putt. Trying to turn over my soft proxy here and just way too much on it. I don't know what I was thinking there. A little upshot here. Looking like maybe with that rhino again. Eh, I should be able to three from there, but this year, 2020, I was struggling. Whoa little bit of uh, camera issues there. I think she didn't mean to zoom and did. That's okay though. Tap this one in for three in 2015. And I'm going to be taking some strokes on 2020 Basinger here. That's unfortunate. Took two strokes right there so I'm plus three on in both years. This is very unfortunate here. So 2015 Basinger takes the T here. A little hyzer shot right around. That's perfect. Perfect placement shot. That's what I want to do. <laughs> Try to get fancy here on the T. Should have worried more about the drive <laughs> than the uh, little shenanigans before because I ended in the crap, as you can see. I had to do a little thumber action here, and that's not a shot that I do, so... It actually worked out for me, believe it or not. It wasn't the best, but I, I did get, I progressed up the fairway, so that's uh, that's al always positive, of course. Hmm. If they would have got around that uh, little area of trees there, that would have been a really good shot. Throw my Discraft Soul here, turn over, almost tossed it in the basket. If you're not throwing a Discraft Soul, get you one. That one was actually gave to me by my friend, uh, Noah Osborne looking like a little putter change here so lay the rhino down Jason 
here saying uh, check to make sure it's not an illegal disc. I think I'm putting with Jason's judge there. Oh, good job. Nailed it. There you go, 2015 Basinger. And it looks like with this putt, yeah, so 2015 Basinger has taken the lead. This is absolutely not what I expected. I thought I was going to come out here and shoot much better. Uh, kind of the plan of this video is to show myself how much I've improved, and obviously I'm not doing that here. Okay, so let's see if I can correct from that. I was getting in my head, and this is where I had uh, Amanda had told me to try and calm down and uh, try and get my nerves out of my head there, and it didn't work on my drive there. But had a pretty good turnover shot with that sole once again, and uh, I landed up there, and I have a putt for a three. So looks like a little bit of uh, mosquito action. Yes, I know it's mosquito. And I think this pin's actually in a, uh, it's a little bit more to the right now. So uh, I, I didn't expect that. Mm, another left side chain out there. But yeah, I didn't expect that. I didn't know it had been moved to the, a little bit, I think a little bit longer. Maybe five feet longer and then to the right. Uh, not a big deal. But I was just expecting it to be in the second spot. Hole 13 here. Um, this one's also in a different pin in 2020 than it was in 2015. It's funny because that shot right there actually looks like I'm playing to the left side pin, but I think I just meant to go wider and try and do that flex down the gap and just went way, way too, uh, I guess it would be early there on that release, so. Um, right here is... A play that I really like on this hole when it's in that left side pin. Just something really understable. Get it to turn and fall down in towards the basket. This again is the longer right side basket. Got a putt for a two. Not able to can it, but not a bad bid. And here's a putt for a two. Uh, hit and knocked down a little bit early. Uh, normally I could flex it and get it right down towards the basket. But it don't matter. I was able to can the putt. I will say, and uh, I do have some witnesses, that there was uh, no putting practice or no practice whatsoever before this. I got out of the car. I drove from work all the way up to Warriors, about a 45-minute drive, got out of the car and started filming So, uh, in 2020 here. so Went a little bit wide there, and I got knocked down, I think, a little bit early, but I do still have a putt. So we played a Mando in 2015, but I didn't play it here in 2020 because I don't think that Mando actually still exists. Got a putt here for a two. Able to can it. Looks like I finally got the putter warmed up a little bit. As I said, I didn't do any putting practice. The first few putts of this 2020 round was the first few putts of the day. So, Hmm. Just a little short on that one, hit the cage, fell down, tapping in with Jason's judge. Love the feel of that soft judge he had. Or maybe just a classic blend. So hole 15 here, uh, I feel like this is a definite ace run with a putter all day. I just threw that one a little bit low. Don't remember if it clipped that little tree and got knocked down, but I'm right there in the, in the creek area. See what 2015 Basinger can do. Absolutely horrible. Um, looks like we're tied back up. Plus three and plus three. Going with a flick. I don't, I can't quite remember what that disc is. But it was dyed. It looked like it had a, uh, a gyro rim on there. But it actually wasn't an MVP or Axiom. I don't believe and it was the most horrifying little bunny hop jump putt I've ever seen in my life. I wish that clip didn't exist, but unfortunately it does. So putting right here from the edge of the water, and I was able to can that too. Um, I think in tournaments and stuff they play that water as OB, but I played it as casual. Um, get over it. <laughs> 
So hole 16 here, uh, nice little straight shot. Uh, here in 2020, I'm throwing my Axiom Crave, just a uh, little soft shot. Really shouldn't, I should be throwing a mid-range here because I can get a mid-range, possibly even a putter there, but just throw this Crave soft and let it glide straight. Just threw it a little bit too soft there. and uh, I do have a putt for a two. Let's see what I can do. I actually ended up right behind that tree. So. I have no clue what I'm throwing here. As I said, this is five years ago when it was someone else's bag, so almost impossible to know. But I can see that I'm putting with Jason's judge there. Let's see if I can hit this and get a two. Mm. Just a little bit more height than that would have been in. See if I can hit this for a two. Yes. All right. Fought my way back to one up after uh, I was, I think, four or five up at one point. So uh, feeling good about that, but not really feeling good about the round in general. So hole 17 here, another little short hole. A real fun one, just an ace run. Literally almost died on the tee pad there, as you can see. <laughs> uh, hopefully in 2015 I didn't slip and almost fall. And <laughs> looks like I did on the left side of the tee pad this time. Um, I don't know what I was thinking, throwing a driver back in 2015, which was kind of stupid. It just completely hazard out down into the woods, but it looks like I got up and down for a three. Let's see if I can hit this putt and bring me back to even par. Mm, a little bit high. Tap in for three in 2015. Tap in for three in 2020. Unfortunate. I really wanted that too. Wanted to get back. I actually thought that I was even already because of uh, hole five, I believe it was, which used to be marked as a par four. So I'm going with my Octane here, trying to get some turn. Uh, Octane's a little bit too stable for me to get uh, a lot of turn on it, uh, but my Catalyst is actually, uh, I have two Catalysts and they're in, uh, I'm just going to talk through this shot so you don't even see that that happened just pay attention to what I'm saying not what you're seeing but my catalyst is uh, would be perfect for this shot but Jason my brother has one of them and Josh Delp has the other one I really need to get those back okay so I was fortunate to not get knocked down in the middle of all that terrible stuff there but just put myself in another horrible position playing plinko with that tree flick flick and you can see that's why I've taken flick out of my game so I actually have a, that's a long jump putt downhill for a two here, but uh, it just looks a little too high and left. But, you know, it's set down for easy three, so can't really be mad at that. 2015 Basinger here. Putting with Jason's Judge. I apparently got the feel for that. <laughs> or not. <laughs> just forget I said that. Hopefully I should tap this one in. That basket's bent there in 2015. Let's see if it's still bent here. In... Yep, it looks like it. So tap in for three. So I'm plus one, but I still think I'm even at this point. So in the original video, me and Riley tied for first place. So we actually played hole 19. So just for the video's sake, I played hole 19 here as well. Going with a little flick. Trying to get around those trees and get in the basket. And as you can see, it looked like it just stopped. And I could not tell what happened. I, I had no idea where my disc went. But you'll see when we get up there to it. Going with the flick once again here. If I'm not mistaken, this is a crate. Jerry's uh, champion crate. And uh, looks like I turned it a little bit. Just uh, probably a bad release because it looked like I had the hyzer on it that I needed to, but uh, just a bad release there. So I've got a long putt here in 2015 for a two. And wasn't able to make it. And this is where my disc landed up in between those trees. I could not believe it because it looked like it just stopped. And that's because it did. So I've got this final putt here. Hopefully I can hit this and be even par for the round. Nope. So 
I'm just going to tap these last two in. And thank you for watching. Plus six and plus one. So I beat my score by five strokes, but still not very happy with this round. So as always, please click like, subscribe, comment, share this video with your friends, and help promote disc golf in your area. And let me know if you want to see more of these videos. Thanks for watching, y'all. I'm just so dynamic on another latitude that can't stand it. Yeah, I'm a rocket boy, I stay blasting off, and I was never planning on landing. Been working on my legacy yeah. since I've been a prodigy. It's probably the dog in me. I mean, honestly, ain't no one stopping me. No apologies, I'm so astonishing. I say, Innova, yeah, I've been the one. We talking trophies, dog, give me them. Championships, I'ma give me some, and I'ma keep on grinding till the millions come.